Hey, pod scientists, it's Sam, and today we are going to be cloning. <laughs> Some of you sci fi fans out there are like, cloning? Really? We're going to be making copies of a thing? And yet, yeah, actually, that's exactly what we're going to be doing. We're going to be cloning plants. And I suggest you use a succulent plant like this one because they're the easiest to clone because it's uh, part of their adaptation and, and survival skills. So I have this one and I'm going to show you today how to make a stem cutting or a clone from the stem of a plant. And it's pretty simple. A clone is basically a copy of the parent plant. It might be a different shape, but it's exactly the same thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this succulent here and turn it into two succulents. Hopefully this one will grow nicely. I'm just going to remove some of the leaves. Yeah. So it's exactly the same as the parent plant. Ooh, this one's kind of breaking off. And you might need a, an adult to help you clip it, but I'm gonna stick it down into this water so it's just barely touching for a couple of days. And hopefully, it'll start to grow roots. So succulents are great because you can just break them off, honestly. If you're using clippers, you might need to get an adult to help you. And not every plant can be cloned. Like I can't just, clone this beautiful plant and make a second one but a lot of plants actually can so today in this video I'm going to show you which plants in your backyard you could potentially clone and yeah I'll get my cloning bucket and I have a glove for safety I'm going to first clone this umbrella plant and the key is you need to find a really nice healthy branch that maybe it's kind of unwanted like this one right down here I'm going to clip it at the base and put it in my cloning bucket. Okay. Follow me this way. Oh, this is one of my favorite trees. It's a dogwood, but it's kind of growing over to the neighbor's fence. There's this beautiful branch down here. I'm just going to clip it as close to the base as possible. Yeah, the bigger and older a tree, the harder it is to clone. So this might not grow roots, but I hope so because I love dogwoods. <laughs> oh, now strawberries are easy to clone, but you have to find a really nice branch. Okay, you gotta stay back and stay safe. Careful, Percy. I'm going to try and clone this one right here and grow leaves. Okay. This is pretty, uh, hard to say, but I think it will clone well. So when you clone a plant like this, you kind of What do you call it though? What's, what's it called, that plant? Forsythia. Forsythia. <laughs> you kind of want to remove the, the leaves at the bottom so that they're not in the water. So I'm just going to pull those off while I'm here. And finally, a really easy plant to clone grows like crazy with ivy. So I'm going to take a piece of this ivy that's maybe down here. It's kind of lost. Clip it at the base. Let's try and grow it. I think the best clippers for this job. <laughs> Look, this ivy's already growing roots. That'll be really easy yeah. to root and clone. Okay, so if you follow me back to the table. This is all you have to do. Put them in water, find a nice spot for them for a couple days. Oops, this one. Maybe cut this one down a little bit, I promise. There we go. Hopefully, I have just cloned a bunch of new plants. I can't wait to see if they develop roots in the next couple of days. Upload your videos on Sea Subbies. I want to see which clones you tried. Thank you.